How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Blue City, and welcome back to Love Esquire, where things have been ramping up pretty intensely. So Vale looks like she's going to be the route I'm going to go for. She's just such a fantastically well-crafted character. I'm actually genuinely interested in see where her story goes. She's got a lot of depth to her, surprising amount of depth. I'm guessing the other characters do as well, just because so far this writing has, for such like a obviously kind of floofy, jokey, like joke filled and like fourth wall breaking game there's actual like consideration to like a lot of the writing which is really cool just to have in something that's kind of played off as just a big joke uh you know it's it's nice to see that there was a cultivation and, and care and love that went into it it's just readily apparent so uh it'd be really fun to get into that i'm also i'm gonna you know still try and pursue some of the other girls at least a little bit um but i really think i'm locked into this veil plot uh like path just because it's interesting engaging and just i think she's adorable like it's funny because like at first i, I saw her i was just like Ugh, she's like she's like that riskier side of people's interest but like as i got to know the character veil vale, i really started to get more interested in just who she is and like what like i want to know how she met um sir grand or what was her name miranda like like how the haunted armor and like how the two of them became a pair especially because it seems like Vale has some kind of connection to who she was maybe before she died so like I imagine there's just a lot going on there anyway so uh, we're doing pretty well we are most of the way through month two so uh, we're gonna be having our evaluation this episode for sure but we're doing great our stats are 787 uh, I, I'm guessing that the, P, the, 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 the top is 10 uh, we've got our limit breakers for all of our abilities and we have two more months left so i feel like we're doing really well i just need to focus on getting money so i can focus on the training um and then occasionally spending time with vel whenever possible uh so it looks like charisma is my next one that i'm trying to get up because of the ones i find the most uh i do find the best like returns come from first the intelligence because that's healing which is primarily what we protag does uh, charisma because that involves the damage that Hugh does which can determine whether or not we can eliminate like the healing dogs right away or not and then strength just being how much of a beating we can take which is important but definitely the least of the three so let's get started no idea what to expect or if there's any events specifically going on oh looks like there is an event alright let's go take care of that then Hey, Hugh, where are you? I'm ready to learn how to kill people now. Oh, are we? Oh, he left me a note. Squire, practice your lunges. Back in a few. Seriously? A heart? Does he think it's cute? I wonder he never gets laid. What a creep. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? You calling me stupid? <laughs> well, take this. You dummy! He's attacking the dummy. Whoa, calm down, Squire. Don't argue with a straw man. Oh, you're back. <laughs> I'm almost done with these lunges. That's actually good advice. Don't argue with a straw man. The straw man fallacy is a terrible argument to have to try and have because it literally will go nowhere. Great, because I've got good news for you. I've signed you up for volunteer work. You, you know what volunteer means. Right? <laughs> yes, it means turning someone like you into a productive member of the society. Hey! I can pull my own weight. Well, that's not what Amy says. Oi. Whatever. Now, what am I in for? The infirmary will be needing a few more hands. Oh, interesting. This better not be cleanup duty. <laughs> You'll find out soon. Oh, it's bedpans, isn't it? Oh, come on. Whatever it is, there's no avoiding it now. Besides, those odd jobs are how I made a name for myself. Yeah, Hugh. Because everyone obviously thinks so highly of me. Oops. If you've got time for insults, then you've got time for work. Now hop to it, Squire. Whoa, why so serious all of a sudden? Whatever happened to the fun heart drawing you? Gone. The job's waiting. Fine, fine. I'm going. All right. Yep, this is probably going to be janitor duty. Hey, you know what, though? That's fine. Plus, it'll be interesting to see hey, maybe anyone here? a side of Giselle that isn't just, yo. Know, the brick wall. I volunteered for that infirmary job? Kinda. Just a minute. Oh, hi, Doc. Whoa, hello. It's Dr. C uh, Cecilia. I've met her a couple times before. She usually helps out whenever Amy gets sick. 
Ah, I guess I heard it right. You are a squire now. That's good news for the both of us. Why? That smile's a little creepy. Thanks, Doc. I'll be in your care from now on. So you're the boy Hugh promised, eh? You look capable enough. You're the first person to say that. Giselle, would you come here for a second? The nurse? This might be my chance to make a better impression. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Giselle. Another volunteer, please. Do you know each other? No. Uh, <laughs> are you still mad about that thing at the archives? Well, don't worry, Giselle. I'll make up for that today. Doubtful. Now, Giselle, you know we can't afford to be picky with our help. Oh, she's so bad. I'd go with you myself, but I'll be busy taking care of the king. Okay. I'm sure you'll do fine, dear. Just don't go too deep into the forest. Okay, so we're gonna go collecting herbs. The forest? What kind of job is this? You'll be watching over her while she gathers some herbs. Thank God! I thought I'd be cleaning up. Watching over her should be simple enough. It is, but watch out for bandits or the occasional wild boar. For some reason, those two things always slip past the patrols. Yeah, we've been noticing that. Don't worry. I'll know what to do. And what would that be? Run, of course. <laughs> Good. Just remember to not leave Giselle behind. <laughs> of course not. I'm ready. All right, then. You two, keep safe. Yes, I'll ma'am. I'll see you both later. Hopefully unscathed. Please. No worries, ma'am. She's in good hands. Giselle, let's go. Ugh. Don't take it personally. She's always been like that. I, uh, I'll try not to. Interesting. You know, looking after you would be way easier if you weren't so far away. Is it my breath? I don't smell, do I? I remember taking a bath this morning. Good for you. Am I ugly? Yes. Well, at least we cleared that up. <laughs> well, <clears throat> at least this face could scare the boars away, right? Tough crowd. <sighs> Giselle sure knows her way around here, huh? She probably visits a lot. Well, I don't blame her. This place is nice. If I liked hiking, I'd probably enjoy the scenery, too. Too bad there's already a better one in front of me. Uh? Oh, so, gosh. You need help with that? No. Yeah, that's fine. Just go ahead and take your time. <laughs> you... This is just... Oh, gosh. I, I think I've got a thing for nurses. So, uh... What's that plant called? Agrimony. Do you need to be gentle with it? Yes. Then take your time. Done. Uh, already? Yes. Why? Oh, nothing really. It just seems like you know this place well. <laughs> you even know where to find all the herbs. Of course. I knew it! You are a witch. <laughs> I, I'm kidding. <laughs> Didn't take you for the outdoors type, that's all. It's a pleasant surprise. There. <sighs> what? <laughs> you want to go deeper? Scared. Me? Scared? My pride of the squire is underlined. I am not. I am not. I just didn't think you were the risk-taking type. Good. Now hurry. And there she goes. Hey! Wait up! Giselle? I think we should wrap it up. More. No, really, we should. Uh-oh. Shit. Weirdo. Two figures make their way through the tall grass. Whoa, who the heck are these guys? I remember you! Damn it. They don't look friendly at all. Something inside me kicks in. They're telling me to grab Giselle and run that heck away. Giselle, we have to go now! I take her by the arm and... <laughs> oh, fetch. No, shh! What was that? She tries to push me away as I cover her mouth. <laughs> Who's there? She can't get caught like this. Giselle struggles, but I manage to keep us hidden. Hey, did you hear that? Let me check. <laughs> Bandits! You gotta calm down. She continues to panic. Her breathing's too loud. Giselle, please. They'll catch us. That's enough. We gotta be quick. But I don't want them tracking us down. Uh, it's probably some shitty bird. Hey, it's not my fault that we gotta be careful. Uh-huh. This wouldn't be so hard if Jim didn't fall asleep that one night. Trouser Run's been tough with our damn cook gone. Hey, wait a sec. 
Please don't let him see us, please. Oi! You there! Crap. Joe, go on, get! <laughs> I told you it was a bird. Oh, that's lucky. Good. Let's get out of here. Thank goodness. Whew. They're gone. We can finally... Aww. Wait! I didn't know she had it in her, but Giselle shoved me hard into a tree. Ah! What's the matter with you? <laughs> you're, you're too close. Well, I had to. Did you want to get killed by bandits? I... I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing she's got some kind of history. Oh, great. Now I'm scaring her, too. Look, it's fine. You're fine. Let's just go home. Agreed. I warned you two about this. I'm sorry, ma'am. This was my fault. No, mine. Please, children, enough. I, I'm sorry. What matters is that both of you are safe. Giselle, we'll talk later. You should rest. Yes. Excuse me. Doc, I... I wish it could have gone better. I really am sorry. Yeah, fetch, man. Fetch. I, could, I think this, this got a whole seriousness to it, after all. It's okay now. Her being far from those bandits is enough. Giselle has had some bad experiences, you see. Jeez. I kind of wondered. She does. What happened? A raid, Squire. Her home was raided. Oh. Hmm? Is something wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just that the same thing happened to me. I'm sorry to hear that. If I become a knight one day, I'll drive the fuckers out of the kingdom. <laughs> I look forward to that. Anyway, I thank you again for the help. Thanks. I hope you become a successful knight someday. I will. Oh, by the way, Tell Giselle that I hope she feels better soon. Don't worry, I will. Come back soon, Squire. Thanks, Doc. That got super serious. Like, is your junk increase by 100 points, additional increase by 70. It like, new topics have been locked. It really kind of puts in that perspective, you know, cause like we have a similar history now, like uh, clearly, which is really interesting. Well, a firebird feather. What's this doing here? So lucky. I wonder what that's for. Witchcraft? Let's talk about likes first of all. I feel like we need to be up. Wait, do I have a gift for you? No, I must have already given it to her. Here, have some milk. You didn't have to. Thanks. Dang. All right, but let's have a talk. What do you like? Hey, so I was wondering, what kind of stuff do you like? Chocolates? Sweets? Flowers? Flowers? Good. Really? That's actually pretty romantic of you. I want snapdragons for sedatives. Ah, uh, right. Huh? Swamp poppy for insomnia. Uh, okay. Buttercup for poison. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case? Oh, jeez. Wait, what? Got it? Um. Good. <laughs> that was fun. That was cute. Hey, Val. Let me just say, I'm absolutely honored that you trust me with keeping your secret identity safe. I was just thinking about it. I was actually really worried at first when you found out. I thought I messed up big time. But you know what? Having you find out, I think it's one of the best things that's happened to me. Oh, my heart. <laughs> really? Wow. Thanks. I must admit, you turned out to be more competent than I had originally thought. You know, I'm surprised too. <laughs> to think Millie was seriously thinking of killing you back then. <laughs> Let me just say, I'm really grateful that you didn't. Don't thank me. Thank Val. It was her idea. Though I must admit, Val... You turned out to be quite a good judge of character. Aww. May I show it fail? Increase by 10 and 7. Alright, to the tavern! Gotta boost our stats! Whew, what a month. It's time for some me time. No working today. Better not forget the monthly checkup with you, though. Well, got plenty of time to kill before that. 
What's up, kiddo? We had a busy month, huh? Yeah, we yeah. Did. I could use a drink right about now. We definitely did pretty well. Well, that's why we're here. Grab a seat. Hey, this looks familiar. You two having that talk again? We sure are. Why don't you join us, boss? Don't mind if I do. So, boss, how's business these days? Pretty good. With the war getting closer, people have been spending more time here. Uh... Nothing like a bit of fun and laughter before... You know. Death. Yeah, I understand. Speaking of the war, how are you holding up? You're still keeping up? Me? Well, I just hope I'm ready when the time comes. Then you better have been training. Let's see. Hey, you're actually doing pretty good. If you just focus on your sword skills a bit more, then that'd be perfect. Okay, so we're not really at the top, but... What a relief! Now I don't have to hesitate when people ask me who my squire is. R rude! Take it as a compliment. Well, screw your compliment. It's not like I can brag about you being my knight either. Oh, he's saying that my, um, cause like, so I've got, I got eights on the, uh, intelligence and, um, charisma, but I have a seven in strength. So he's saying like, the strength is a little behind. What? Nonsense. The people love me. Not from what I've been hearing, Hugh. And trust me, I hear a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, oh? Okay, then. Hey, so... Can we talk about the juicier stuff now? Oh, no. Of course. Kiddo, about finding someone before the war. Could you both give it a rest already? Nuh-uh. Like I said, I'm invested in your future. We're invested in your future. Fertility God's balls. <laughs> so, about you and our feisty tavern brawler. Oh, uh, you know about that, huh? Next question, please. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to give you advice? I need details. Details. You want details. <laughs> well, all you need to know is that I'm going to be the best knight ever. Yeah. Some details you have there. <laughs> well, if you ask me, I think Belle's cooled off a little. You just keep watching her back. She might be a troublemaker, but this place wouldn't be the same without her. <laughs> you don't need to ask me that, boss. I'm already on it. Yeah. Anyway, before I get us another round. I like it. It does subtly acknowledge the choices you make. How was your trip last year, Hugh? What was Alcos like? Yeah, he never told us what happened. Oh, that. Well, I wanted to see the copper mines of Alcos myself. So there I was, all alone in the darkness, when suddenly... Boss! <gasps> Boss! Don't shout, I'm right here, you know. <laughs> I got it! <gasps> Your <Nope>. name. <laughs> you haven't given up, have you? No! No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it right this time. Your name is... John Jackson! <laughs> Trip for Bitto, Alvin Ulrich, George Twinnings. It's George Twinnings! Sorry to burst your bubble, kid, but that's not my name. R really? I was so sure this time! You'll get it right. Someday. Now, up and at him. I need to clean your table. That was fun, though. So yeah, interesting. It made like a, such a obvious like look at our stats, saying the strength could be a little better, but that everything else is looking good. Although I'm a little disturbed that it's implying that, like, Strength isn't on par with what it expects. Maybe we can go above 10. I thought it was ahead of the game, but maybe not. And then Vale's definitely the most progressed relationship. But yeah, sweet. It's exciting. Oh, this game is fun. All right, new month. Let's see if there's any birthdays I need to be watching for. Yeah. I know of... Giselle's birthday. Okay, so I could keep that in mind. And then there's uh, the 14th Fertility Day, which should be cute. I'm excited for. All right, but new month might mean some new events starting. And I'm guessing that Bessie's milk is upgraded again. Okay, so let's see. Well, I guess we could go to the barracks and uh, boost up our stats as much as we can, since that's the one that's lagging. Plus, it's got Vale here. You want to talk? Of course I do. Firebird feather. That seemed really cool. I kind of want to give that to her. Whoa! Is this for me? I have a. I had a feeling it was a special gift. 
You bet. Really, Mel? Well, I... Thanks. Now I kind of feel bad for being hard on you at times. No, I need it. Hey, don't think like that. We're both just having fun, right? Huh. If that's what you think of it, then sure. Anyway, thanks again for this. I'll see you around. Aww. Relationship with Vale increased by 100 points. Fetch! That is a... Whew! That's a lot. Anyway. Hey there. How you doing? Let's talk about... So, Townsfolk Hobbies, Grand's Armor, and Secrets. Let's talk about the armor. So, the whole armor thing. It's like magic? I guess? I'd rather not use a word as fanciful as magic. Though I suppose there is something supernatural at work here. So... Are you like a ghost or something? I prefer not to label myself. I am what I am. To dwell on the details would be a waste of time. The pragmatic view. And he used to say something about vengeful spirits. Like they sort of stay around because they have unfinished business. Unfinished business? What do you think, Millie? I prefer not to think about it. Besides, for the time being, I'm here to stay right by your side, Val. That's all that matters. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm glad. It might not be a permanent situation, though. It's your Velcro's by 10 and 7. Sweet. All right. Beast mode. Woo! I can feel the burn. That was more than enough time for some squarely gains. We're running low on money, though. We're definitely going to have to go out again soon. Woo! I can feel the burn. Can't feel... My... everything! Okay. So yeah, we've got Vale almost, like, we're at the third ring there, so we probably have a new event with her, and then we've got almost to that top ring, so we'll see how that goes. Can we handle 13? Probably not. Let's try it anyway. We have yet to fail. You will not interfere with our master's plan any longer. Okay. Die! What the hell did we do? I don't know, man. I do not know. Can I handle a taunt? They've been at plus two, so she'll do extra damage. Let's do a cheer. 25 25 30 So that's 80 So we can survive Attacks from all three of them Barely We're not done yet No we're not Bandit not babe a Karen sweat. A Karen oh dear Fifteen. Thirty. Where's my healing? Fifteen, thirty. It's coming, it's coming! Fifteen, thirty, fifty. So eighty. I can't survive that. Uh oh. We might not be able to make it. Support is on the way! Nine. Use some help. We didn't make it. I'm sorry, Hugh. Hugh, are you all right? Did we win? Uh, no. We got close, but no. Well, thanks a lot, kiddo. Hey, I did my best. Whatever. Let's get him next time. Well, 320 gold. That's something at least. I think Giselle's up to something. Hey, Giselle. What are you up to? Medicine. That's medicine? It looks... nasty. Man, all the silence is trying to make me feel awkward. Hmm. What's this? Giselle? What's a... caffeine? <laughs> like in coffee. What's it doing here? <sighs> Experimental drug. For headaches. She's gone from just not answering to being very, very upset to answer. Then why 
Why not just drink coffee then? Not that simple. Well, I don't know much about medicine and stuff, but this smells pretty good. So, you need a test subject? Sure. She brings out a slip of paper. Please sign. Uh oh. Well, what's this? A waiver. In case you die. Whoa! Hey now! Uh, I was just kidding. Scared? Oh, she knows how to get us to do things. Wait, what? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not scared. Chicken. Dang it, my pride's on the line! Fine. I'll do it. I signed the paper. <laughs> okay. Drink. She gives me a vial of the stuff. Looks funky, but doesn't really smell that bad. Okay, okay. bottoms up. Bottoms up. It tastes a bit bitter. I... I, I, I can feel my heart racing. This energy! Uh-oh, it's concentrated. <laughs> Whoa, this is great! I suddenly feel like I can run three laps around the palace! Side effects? <laughs> what are you talking about? Not at all! Woohoohoo! I should date some of this stuff before training! Zell scribbles down something on her notebook. Oh, wait. Why am I walking in circles? Whoa, is it just me or is it hot in here? Actually, no, it's fine. I'll just open the windows. See, by the way, he's making medicine fun or is it more like a science thing? <laughs> also, do you need to use math or is it more... Too much caffeine. What are you talking about? I'm feeling great. You should try some yourself. <sighs> fine. I'll try. Sweet! You're taking a sip as well. Hey, why are you handshaking? I feel nothing. Hey, Giselle, ever wonder what they call nights nights? I guess that was the same as night and day night. <laughs> or just some sort of conspiracy. Hypothesis. Caffeine mixture. Not recommended for idiots. Hey. I should have just increased by 50 points. That was cute. But we are out of time. I wonder how Giselle's doing. Oh, there she is. I think she doesn't look too busy. Giselle! Huh? Hey, it's just me. Your heroic savior, remember? It takes a moment, but she calms down after a few breaths. Shh, shh, sleeping patience. Oh, sorry about that. What do you want? Whoa, no need to be so cold. I just wanted to check on you to see if you're all right. Well, why? I, uh, well, why not? <laughs> I was worried, of course. I, I'm fine, thank you. <sighs> Excuse me. She goes to one of her patients. Remember that guy? He's one. Of the, he's the one with the rotting wound. The guy who needed the maggots. Ew. Back. Giselle? Who is that guy? Looks like he's been here for a while now. His name's Donis. Wound's not healing, huh? It's fine. Really? Then why is he still here? Observe. Groggy. Irritated. Unmotivated. Hmm. Any ideas? He's got a really bad hangover? Hey, I'm not a nurse. Drowser abuse. Oh, maybe he take, he's hooked on the drug. Drowser? That's a drug, right? Isn't that what the bandits mentioned before? E yes Nurse, please! This isn't enough! Shouldn't you do something? He still looks... sick. <sighs> I did. I've heard about this from Poss. I had no idea it'd be this bad. Is there any way to help these people? Is there any way to help these people? You? Yes. Hold on. Giselle takes out a small glass bottle from her nurse's kit. What's this? A test cure. A cure? Yes, but not quite. Hmm. Oh, is this what your research is about? From, you know, when I ran into you at the archives? Yes. Okay. This is great! It's a test cure. No guarantee, but... It's all we have. Something. Oh, uh, at least it's something, right? It's good that you and the doctor are doing something about this. Thanks. We try. Well, I should let you get back to work. I hope that stuff helps him out. So do I. I'll see you around then. Bye. An addict, huh? I wonder what made him do it. Action just increased by 100 points. Additional from 80. Good grief, Giselle. You're gonna sell me on you as a route real quick. Holy crap. Uh, Alright. To the barracks. Hey there. How you doing? Doing good. How are you? Uh, How about some Bessie milk? I appreciate it. <clears throat> Asian Val increased by five points. Been training? 
Uh, aside from the whole Sir Graham thing, do you guys have any other secrets? Hmm. Okay, here goes. A while back, we were approached by some guys who were huge fans of Sir Grand. They wanted to make a whole lineup of Sir Grand merchandise. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. I can't believe we ended up signing that contract. What do you mean? Well, everything seemed normal at first. We had Sir Grand figures, posters, clothes, but then... Then what? Uh-oh. Body pillows with Sir Grand's likeness on it in a very suggestive pose. Of course. Oh. Ugh, I don't even get it. Sir Grand is covered head to toe in armor. How do people even get kicks out of that? First, don't underestimate people's perversions and kicks and kicks. Also, I like how Sir Grand is blushing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people, huh? No! No, we didn't! Sir Grand body pose! What, what kind of guy collects stuff like that, right? No. What's with that look on your face? You hiding something, Squire? No, no, no. What? Of course not. Anyway, I gotta go. I think I hear you calling me. <laughs> Quickly, go home and burn it! <laughs> Ratio of the bell is increased by 10 points. Additional stats by 7. It's good. I was thinking about going here anyway. This place is livelier than usual. I wonder what's going on. Hold on. Isn't that... What's she fussing about? You here again too, huh? <laughs> what can I say? I'm a sucker for all this mystical mumbo jumbo. Fortunes are nice and all, but you know, I'm here for something else. <laughs> You're at it again, you old flirt. What can I say? I like him for it. Oh, maybe Giselle's not actually, well, maybe she is. She, she implied that she could do magic, but at the same time, like, maybe she's not interested in magic per se, but more about, like, the alchemy and, like, making medicine. You know where she's from? Certainly not from here. That's all that matters. Isn't this your fifth try? I'll try as many times as it takes. I wonder if this is about the shopkeeper lady. <laughs> well, good luck, pal. Well, that's a lot of guys lined up. I didn't think Giselle would also be at the fortune reading stuff. Here goes. N no What's she doing? Chance! That's it. You're close to the line. No! Oh, no. What the heck? She's so close! Alright, that's it. Giselle! Ah! Don't you ah! me! <laughs> We're getting you into that line! <laughs> that, don't you ah! me! Now, come on! No, 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 no! She shows me a way as I grab her arm. She... What was that for? I... I was just trying to help. <sighs> no, no. Never mind. What? But you look like you really wanted to get in line. I... I can't. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wait up! Dang it, she left again. Maybe I am ugly. Clinical research. I should have Giselle increased by 180 points. Oh, hey, Val. I dare click on her. Hi! I got a fish. Hey, thanks. This is pretty nice. Aw, no problem. Alright. Been training? Yes, yes, yes. Hobbies. You ever try skipping rocks? Oh, I'm terrible at it. Yeah, sometimes when I'm bored. Pretty fun, huh? It's all about throwing it at just the right angle. This one time I got it to bounce eight times. How's Ooh. that for a record? I think my personal record is f like five or six. That seems like a pretty tame way for someone like Sir Grand to pass the time. Hey, it's not boring. It's a complex measure of skill. She's right. Only a true warrior can master the art of skipping stones. Uh-huh. What? You too, Matilda? Of course. In fact, I'm adding that to your training. We need to work on those scrawny wrists of yours, boy. Okay. <laughs> well, I should have increased by 10 points. Additional stats, 8. Alright. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I talked to Val first. Serena? Is there anything wrong? Oh. Whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to spook you. Think nothing of it, Squire. I was just thinking. Thinking about what? My home, Postenia. Huh. I, I miss the smell of the pine trees. I miss those long winter nights. Oh, so she's like, it's like this world's version of maybe like, uh, 
Scandinavia. I... I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with such things. Hey, it's okay. No harm done. You can talk to me if you want. Thank you for the offer, Squire. I'm fine now. Well, back to business, shall we? Sure. Let's see. Alright. You up for an adventure? Let's go. Finally! It's time for some fun! Alright. Oh. Crap. You can only do the level you haven't cleared yet. Alright, well, I need the money, so let's do it. Yeah. Whew. Just barely enough. Get ready for the heat, kiddo! Where's my healing? It's coming, it's coming! Some healing would be great. Yeah, we got this. We got this. You? What was that crazy chick talking about? I don't know, but I've got a feeling this master of theirs is up to no good. Stage 13 cleared. Barely. Mission cleared. Da 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 da. 731 gold. Alright, that's enough to get some leveled ups. Oh. Hey, Belle. Doing some fishing? Yeah, same routine. A fish merchant's got a fish. Whoa, yeah. that's quite some gear you've got there. Oh, thanks. Hooks, baits, always good to have a nice little set of options. Definitely. This is pretty professional looking stuff and definitely well used. Mm hmm? Whoa, you better watch out. One of your hooks is rusted. Oh, this old thing. It's actually a hook from Bordimer. You know, where I grew up. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't know why I still keep it. Seems bigger than the usual hooks we get around these parts. Oh, sea fishing. Well, it has to be. My dad used to take me fishing. Out there at sea, the fish get pretty big. Then there's the weather. There are a lot of things you gotta keep track of. The way the clouds move, the direction the wind blows. A red sky at dawn means a storm's coming. Not like this lake. Peaceful. Calm. The sea is different. One second you can feel the sun on your face. The next, 15-foot waves are trying to capsize your boat. Dang. Calm one second and deadly the next, huh? Sounds stressful. <laughs> Not really. You get used to it. Besides, I came home every night to the best fish I've ever tasted. How about you? What was your childhood like? Not much. Just lots of green fields. Then, one day the bandits came. Aside from that, I don't really remember much. Well, that's not really a bad thing. Really? Yeah. Less to miss. Maybe. But sometimes... I don't know. I feel like I wish I had more to hold on to. Maybe keeping a rusty hook isn't such a bad idea. But for now, I think I'm good with what's in front of me. A nice, quiet lake. Oh. Mind if I fish here, too? Of course not. I... I'd like that. Dang. Woo! -hoo -hoo. That's a real moment right there. Holy crap. There you go. <laughs> what the... This is amazing! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, Val, you're the best. Been training? Uh, townsfolk. Oh, oh! What about Princess Kamala? You must see her all the time. Princess Kamala? She's... An elk. 
cozy. Uh oh. Millie, he's friends with her. Let's not. All the more that he should know. The Elkozy are not to be trusted. Interesting. Pirates and liars, a lot of them. Oh. I. I never knew you felt that way, Matilda. No! It's. it's okay. No need to get fired up, Millie. Sorry. She doesn't mean it. Uh, she sounded like she meant it. Look, let's just change the subject. Hmm. Interesting. I sense a conflict of interest there. Witchcraft? Is It's Giselle. What's she up to over there? A circle of salt. Blood of a goat. Bark of an oak. Oh, gosh. Blood of a what? I've got to see this. Come forth, dark prince of... G Giselle? What's going on? Ah! Whoa! Oh my gosh! What was this setup? Who's your turn? Did you use blood? Um. Uh oh. Research. Research? <laughs> I've never seen research like that. It's new, experimental, revolutionary. Right. Well, you're the nurse here. Just um, do your thing. Okay. So that is a thing. <laughs> Let's go home and hope she doesn't kill us in our sleep. All right, but that's where we're going to end for today. So we had some really powerful moments. Uh, Vale's story is really kind of coming around where you get to get to really see a glimpse into her view, her world, and like see who she really is. Millie also, uh, and we see a conflict there where Vale's like kind of willing to like just move on from the past but Millie's very much locked into what happened and she could be I could see a real conflict happening where we get caught up in whether or not we should support the uh the the rebels you know left it on devices Millie would probably be all for it and might bully Veil vale into it maybe we can stop her from doing that we'll have to see anyway Regardless, I'm still really excited about that. We got lots of exciting stuff to go through. We have a lot of more things to just kind of explore. I was able to clear level 13. We have two more levels of like going out into the wilderness. So I've got to just somehow just get my stats up as high as I can to 10, hopefully, and I should be able to get through it. So yeah, that'll be exciting, but we got a lot of work to do before then. So. Let's just buckle up and get ready for it. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. It was a pleasure. This game really is coming around and just really, it's, it, it's, it's impressive how much of an impact it's actually making on me. Like I, like I said, I thought it was just gonna be kind of like, ah, oh, chuckle and joy, but like, no, it's like there's some serious stuff in here, which is really cool to see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me and until next video watching me, I'll see you next. I'll see you there.